Oh, Mama got a brand new toy. Introducing the brand new stencil by Dixie Belle called Safari. It is an animal print stencil. It's got four animal prints in one. They're separated by a perforated edge. You've got tiger, zebra, leopard, and giraffe. Clearly I'm trying to be cute here while I'm separating these, but it's a little bit harder than it looks. <laughs> I struggled with the separation, but there we go. That was our zebra. We've got our leopard and giraffe and our tiger. Now to decide which one I'm gonna use first. Let's start with Gold Gilding Wax by Dixie Belle. It comes in a small pot, which is too small to use a large brush in. So I just use a stick, I scoop some out, I put it into a bowl that's got a large enough mouth for me to, to place a large brush in. Here I'm gonna use my French tip brush. It's dry, it is not wet. I pounce it out into the bowl. I get ample amount of gilding wax on the brush. I choose the spot that I want to start my stencil. You can see here, I chose the leopard first, and with my dry brush, only gilding wax on it, I begin applying it in an up and down motion that I call pouncing. The trick here is to keep your brush moving in a straight up and down motion. Don't turn your brush a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right. Your bristles will wind up moving up underneath that cutout shape on the stencil, and it won't give you a nice, crisp, sharp edge. Just hold the stencil steady with your other hand while you move in an up and down motion with your brush. Lift your stencil straight up and looky there. Now that doesn't look so good, right? Having just a square of stencil in the middle of the seat. So you wanna match up the stencil and actually I've found that all, of the, all four of these prints were very, very easy to match up the print. You just wanna line it up perfectly once you get it exactly where you want it, you just continue with the pouncing motion, straight up and down. You can see here as I get closer to the edge of the chair, I just sort of curve that stencil over that outer edge and I just pounce around the edge as well. All right, two squares down and maybe 20 more to go. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And when you look at that, the entire seat is covered and you don't even see a seam. Now look at that tiger print on the back. Let me show you how I did that. I laid my chair down on its back because it's easier to work down below you than it is to pounce in a straight motion in front of you. If I'd left the chair standing in an upright position, that would have been a lot harder to stencil forward or up on the back of that chair. So I laid my chair down and I'm doing the exact same thing. I just dip my French tip brush into that bowl. It's a dry brush and I just pounce the gold gilding wax through that tiger stripe stencil. While I'm working on the stencil of the tiger stripe on the back, let me tell you a little bit about how I painted and prepped the chair before I did the stencil. You might be wondering um, how I painted the chair all black. This chair was originally a brown wood frame with a green fabric. I primed the chair in Boss Gray, which is a, a primer by Dixie Bell. I chose gray. I covered the fabric and the wood frame with Boss. After that, I did one coat of Boss, and after that dried, I applied Anchor, which is a silk color by Dixie Bell. It is their all-in-one paint. I love silk because it dries with a matte finish and does not require a top coat. It also works really, really well on fabric as long as you apply it without any water at all on dry fabric over boss. All right, look at that. Look at that center stripe that it's making it. Doesn't that look amazing? So now it's time to line up on the sides. So like I said, these animal prints were actually very, very easy to line up. You can see me do it right here. I just line it up exactly where I want it. You can see that I, I double and triple check, making sure that I'm in the right spot. And I began my pouncing movement again. Now I don't worry about stenciling from the fabric over onto that wood frame. We're gonna have actually a lot of gold that gets on that wood frame while I'm working on the stenciling, and I know that I can go back and touch that up, so I'm not worried about that at all. 
One last little section to cover here. Line it up, match it up correctly, pounce that gold gilding wax, and we'll be able to move on to the back of the chair. Do you have any idea what, what animal print I'm gonna choose for the back of the chair? If you guessed giraffe, you were right. And oddly enough, this giraffe stencil ended up being my favorite. I, I, if you've been around long, you know that I love leopard. I love leopard print, all things leopard. And I really do like how it turned out on the seat. And I really do like the tiger print down the back, um, the back of the chair as well. But there's something about this giraffe print with this gold gilding wax on black that I, I just, it left me pleasantly surprised. It does take a lot of the gold gilding wax because it's a very large opening on the stencil, but it went on really easily and I was just really surprised by it. Are you ready? Look at that. Doesn't that look good? I really, really like it. And this one was super easy to match up. Okay, wait, you know what? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't super easy to match up. The giraffe I thought was gonna be super easy to match up, and it was a little bit more confusing. I had to flip it, resize it, but I did get it figured out. It does match up, but it, it just was a little bit more difficult than the others. Out of the four, this one was definitely the most difficult to match up. But I think it might have been user difficulty, not the stencil difficulty. <laughs> All right, look at that. Doesn't that look good? Now it's time to go back and clean up the details. So here I've got a smaller one inch flat artist brush, which is one of my favorite brushes, by the way. And I am applying my silk paint in Anchor, which is the darkest black. They have several blacks in the silk collection, but Anchor is my favorite. And I'm just going back and applying one coat. Yes, you can paint right over that gilding wax. And I just keep spinning the chair and you can see, you know, if you were spray painting, you would call this overspray, but because we were stenciling, I'm gonna call it over stencil. And um, just go back and clean it up. It just took one coat of Anchor in all of the places. I think we are just about done with our last little bit of touch up here. And then we'll turn this chair around and show you how pretty it looks. Hey, if I could whistle, I would. That is one sexy, sassy chair. And she's done. You can top coat her with easy, easy peasy spray wax or clear wax but you do need to wait 72 hours for that gold gilding wax to cure. Otherwise, this one I did not top coat. She is complete. I love her so much. Please like and subscribe and follow along for more tips and tricks. Mm -hmm.